hope you're having a great day. Look at this fog. It's crazy. It's kind of pretty though, in a weird way. In an eerie, foggy sort of way. So sorry about what was supposed to be today's video. It was yesterday's video when you're watching this. I tried to upload my video last night and the internet was out and I was like, oh, I'll just connect to the hotspot on my iPhone and upload it that way. And it, of course, through my cellular data, it was going to take like an hour and a half. So I was like, okay. And so I was like, I need to go to bed because I'm getting up at 4 a.m. and it's already nine. So uh, yeah, I need some sleep. This lady needed her sleep. So I did that and I woke up in the morning and of course I walk in and it's like failed. And I was like, why? And <laughs> so I was like, no problem. I'll just upload it this morning because it's four. So I can hit it before 530. Um, for anybody that has their coffee or does that type of thing in the morning and watches it. I've had a few comments where people like to watch the video in the morning with their morning coffee. So I was like, no problem. I'll just log in and upload it now. <laughs> The internet was still out and I was like what what so I go and look it all up and I was like oh my gosh the internet has been out for nine hours and I was like this is insane like you never hardly hear of that these days and then it kind of made me reminisce on the dial-up days and I was like yeah I was like I guess this is the frustration of today not the <laughs> We were waiting patiently and then everything was so slow. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just airdrop it to my phone and try to upload it. But I don't, I don't know if it's going to work or not. My phone battery is completely draining today. But I tried. I did my best to get you the video in the morning. And it is what it is. And if I have to upload it later when the internet comes back on, I apologize for yesterday's delay. But that was the reasoning. So today is a very busy day and I got up at four not thinking I was going to do video stuff. Technology, it's still getting me. I was in the technology field for 20 years and it's still biting me in the butt. But anyway, I am going to go harvest since I did a whole video on my harvesting yesterday and it's probably all the same flowers. Um, that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to make all my bouquets for the day. So I think this video will be more showing you some of the bouquets and pictures of the bouquets. And since I have, I think I have five bouquets. Yay. And I made my grandma's last night. So, but I'll put it in and it'd be interesting to see on these bouquets what everybody likes. So, and I'm still wondering if I'm going to have any flowers for the farmer's market. Anyway, I am going to get to it and I will be back with some bouquets. Well, I got my bouquets delivered today and I ended up with one extra bouquet because the people just weren't going to be around. And that is it. I'm actually, I know that I will pick more yarrow and more snapdragons and more summer flowers are going to keep coming. Um, and that's exciting. I can't wait for the zinnias. I'm so excited. But I actually had to put like sold out. I do not have enough flowers right now to make a glass vase bouquet. Um, if I did, I would not be able to go to the farmer's market and I 
already had to leave early two weeks in a row at the farmer's market and this week is ridiculous days where a lot of people are out and about and I really just want to be part of it and be part of just the event. So I have just a few more flowers in the refrigerator. I have enough peonies to make some focal flowers. Um, I do need to get spikes. So tomorrow I must have some snapdragons blooming or some new lupine blooming or I'm going to have to either make very small mason jar bouquets and sell them for five or ten dollars or I'm going to have to say I'm not going. But that's it. So as far as spring is concerned, I did not have enough flowers this year. Um, uh, I will have more, like if my sales stayed the same, I'm going to have more than enough summer flowers, probably too many, but I wasn't able to send out my 20% off postcards. I have 20 of them to send out to florists around me, to wedding designers and to different people. And I haven't been able to do that because I was getting rid of every flower I cut as I cut it. So for a recap for spring, I really wish I would have gotten all of those tulips I ordered. <laughs> I didn't order from that company again this year because I felt like they really let me down. I feel like I would have had a much more successful season and I would have had um, more sales. I would have more money towards my tractor if I would have gotten all of my tulip bulbs in. I had to say no to about three different people on three different orders and one was a large florist order and I still haven't been able to have that florist see any of my flowers because I haven't had enough um, to really reach out to them and tell them, hey my flowers are ready, do you want to try a sample? So Next year, I've already put in my bulb order. Um, I plan on ordering lilies because right now when I don't have anything, my li my lilies at home are really going and they're beautiful. And I've actually been cutting them and sticking them into the bouquets. So they would be a great focal flower. Next year is what I'm worried about. Three years from now, I'm not worried. I planted all of those peonies and I should be able to start cutting on them in three years. So then I'm going to have a lot of focal flowers and a lot of bang to put into my bouquets um, because my yarrow is beautiful right now. My baby's breath is beautiful right now. My snapdragons are beautiful. The lupine was beautiful. Lupine's hit and miss in Iowa, so I may or may not have that every year. Um, I guess it's a challenge, so we'll see how that goes. And I don't know. So in three years, as long as my peony plants stay successful and healthy, I should be able to store them and be able to use them. And then I can reach out to more people and just have it, have my season go and be able to like supply more people with flowers. So yay, I'm excited for that. But next year I need some stuff that's going to just grow and be ready in the spring. So I ordered two times more tulips. I have about 2000 ordered this year. So I think I started the season off with tulips, which they were great. They sold out. I sold every tulip that I had that didn't freeze while I was trying to get the temperatures right in my cooler. And then next up, I believe the allium. The allium wore a huge lifesaver. I did have to say no to some bouquet requests with the tulips because I did run out of them. But then all of a sudden the allium came in after I'd said no to a, a couple requests for tulip bouquets. And I was able to call people back and say, I have flowers again. So the alliums were a huge lifesaver and they were beautiful and they lasted forever in the vase and they were just striking. Like they looked amazing. They looked amazing for events. They looked amazing in people's houses. Like I loved the alliums. So actually I may plant more alliums. I think that they will naturalize over time, but I think it takes a long time. I don't think like in the second year, you will all of a sudden have more allium. I think in five years, you will have more allium than you started with. I don't know the exact length of time. Um, we could all Google that and look it up, but um, I do think it takes longer than just like the next year. So I haven't put an order in for allium yet, but I did love my allium and my allium kind of took me through until the lupine started popping. And when the lupine started popping, I was doing allium and lupine and I was getting really ex excited because I actually did, I think I did. So when my tulips started going out, um, I started using allium and allium were 
fantastic. I started putting allium in my bouquets and then the lupine came on and I started using lupine and daisies and allium and oh my gosh, it was so beautiful and it was such a lifesaver because when the tulips like ran out and I had to say no to people, all of a sudden I had allium and lupine and daisies and I was thinking I would have peonies and my peonies like the, there was a heat wave and then it was cold and then it was hot and my peonies just weren't blooming. They were about a week and a half later than they were the previous year. So I was like, when are my peonies going to get here? I'm never going to have flowers for people. I think I saw some like dianthus and other things. And so I did order some seeds of dianthus and I was hoping to get, I have some at home, but it was really short and I didn't realize they had really tall, pretty varieties. So I am planning to get some of that because I think it blooms around the same time as the allium and the lupine and the daisies. So I think that would be really pretty. And if I have enough tulips in storage, I can use tulips with all of those things and keep my season. The allium lasted forever in the cooler. I think I had some allium that I had in there for three weeks and I pulled them out and I told the people, I said, let me know if they aren't good and I will give you a free bouquet and I never heard anything. Um, if I do, I'll let you know. But yeah, they held up great in the cooler. They held up great in the vase. Um, I loved them and I will definitely use them again. They were a showstopper. Then the peonies came on and I had lupine and peonies and my baby's breast started coming on. And I was just able to fill bouquets and fill, um, and fill orders every week. But one thing I didn't do is I didn't reach out to any of my big suppliers because I had signed up for the farmer's market and I really didn't want to let them down and not be there because it's a small farmer's market. So the more vendors we have, if people take time to come up there, the better off we are if there's more vendors up there and more options for people. So I really wanted to like have things at the farmer's market. So it was preventing me from reaching out to my wholesalers. And I think my wholesalers would have been buying from me, but I just didn't feel like I had enough to do both. So I can't wait until my peonies are ready in three to five years, um, but I definitely want to add. So I would love to offer my alliums to my wholesalers. I think they would love them. But like some of my wholesaler and even like some of my wedding designers, it's probably not the busiest time for them during tulip and allium season. So, you know, maybe I would have reached out to them and they wouldn't have really been ready for my flowers yet. But by the time that the peonies came on, they were ready and everybody was ready. And now here I sit again and I am, I think I have about 12 peonies, which means I can maybe make four, <laughs> four of my farmer market bouquets this week because that's the only focal flower I have and I have no spikes and I do have a ton of yarrow and yarrow is so beautiful, but it's not really one of those that you can just make an arrangement by itself. So we will see what happens. I mean, I have tomorrow morning where I can go harvest and hopefully I can find some stuff. Um, I did have some larkspur this year. I had a few delphiniums, so that was exciting. Um, and just cutting things around the garden. And I think right now, if I had lilies out here that were growing tall with my baby's breath, my yarrow, and my snapdragons, my larkspur, and my delphinium, I think that I would be good right now. So I definitely have marked that I need to order some lilies and I wanna get lilies planted out here. Um, more of the Asiatic varieties, you know, that last longer in the vase and just diant this and just do some research because they definitely want some more focal flowers for around june 16th the middle of june i'm running low again <laughs> so i have a plan i've ordered my tulips to not run low at the very beginning of spring i probably should put in an order for more allium and I definitely would like something like lilies and dianthus to like hold me over during this time. My zinnias are starting to pop, but they're tiny and I need to just deadhead them so that I get those big blooms. And I don't know, I'm hoping by next week my zinnias come in and this farm is flowing again with focal flowers and just a lot of good. My lisianthus has buds on it. That's a great focal flower. My amaranth is growing, my cosmos are growing, the snapdragons. There's a lot of things out there. The sunflowers, I mean, it's gonna be a fun summer as long as the weather cooperates. 
I'm going to have all the flowers again, but middle of June, I need more flowers. So that's kind of my spring recap. Sorry, it's not like real. I mean, that's just it. I mean, tulips, allium, lupine, peonies, snapdragons, um, my anemone, they didn't really work out for me this year. Like I said, we had a week where it was like in the 90s and it just kind of hurt all of my cool flowers. I just didn't really have them. And I did put those hoops up, so maybe I could put some plastic over them next year and start some ranunculus and anemones. And that will give me something to add to my list. I do, I have a lot of planning to do. I haven't planned it out. I just wanted to share with you some of my thoughts on why am I running out and how can I fix that in the future? So I'm gonna write that stuff down, but now's the time to be ordering. So I've gotten a few orders in, but I do need to order more. Which just dents into my tractor supply money. <laughs> But anyway, that was my day today, and it is super hot. I think I'm going to call it a day by getting home, putting together this video, and making a list of what I need to order, and maybe getting some orders in, because it doesn't feel good to run out, and it doesn't feel good when you make up all these postcards, and you're like, I'm going to send, you know, all these new people stuff, and, and see if they want to try my flowers. And you have to keep putting it off and putting it off. It's like, no. I even have one florist that I had talked to and given them the postcard. And they're waiting patiently. And I feel really bad. But they have not even seen my flowers yet. And I had a lot of people that came back to support me on my second year. So I've just been kind of putting it off. And I'm hoping by next week I can say, okay. Okay, I have the flowers. <sighs> That'd be so exciting. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful helpful for any new flower farmers. Start thinking about what were you missing this spring and what do you need to order because you need to start getting those orders in. Fall is not that far away and you want to get on there before everything says out of stock. I know a lot of the tulips are already saying out of stock on the website. So, so get your list, make time to get it ordered. I'm probably a little late. I hope you guys were all sooner than I was. But anyway, I hope everybody has a great day.